and I find I'm Uncle Bill Riley, uh, better known as Pa around the uh, river area, uh, Minindi, Wilcannia. I'm, I'm a member of the youth justice group in Broken Hill. Mm -hmm. I'm just about every uh, Aboriginal organisation in Broken Hill, plus Wilcannia, Minindi. I'm a wanted man. They're going to catch up in one of these days, they'll throw a rope around my neck. But anyhow, I've worked on the Darling River, the Paru River, and most of our inland rivers. As I see the water flowing down here now, I remember back after floods years ago, the river used to run clear. That hasn't happened in the last 40 years. Well, it's just a disgrace to see all this pollution that comes down our river. There should be uh, terrific flows down those small tributaries, but there's not. I'm just disgusted to see you, and curious to know where all that water got to. Now, without these flows down our river, in these river towns, we get a higher crime rate, and that's what we get away from. We've got to do something about it. Keep our youngsters out of jail. I've been on this for a fair while, I was in the fight for the Paru to save the Paru River and we won that fight. Now we want to save our darling. We need to get our people to rally as a nation. Not only black, white as well. I'm still fighting to do that. We've got to push our young people up forward and that's been my aim for the last 20 years. I've worked hard all my life. I've worked the stock got out of stock work in a big earth moving plant. Something I'm not real proud of. I played a big part in destroying a lot of our country. Pulling down, drawing big doses, dragging chain behind, pulling down scrub, mallee scrub. Didn't matter what got in the way, it had to go. Except for big, like river red drums, which we couldn't touch anyway. I did that for quite a few years, chasing after big money, but I've still got nothing to show for it. In my young days, growing up, after I left school, I was with my dad droving. He was a well-known drover from Tipperborough to Broken Hill, and he taught me to care for country. Travelling with a mob of sheep, he'd always pick a night camp away from where there's any Aboriginal artefacts or burials or campsite, the same with cattle, and we always had contented stock, never any stampedes at night, even rainy weather. If the sheep broke down, the sheep wouldn't wander far, they were contented. All these things he taught me, I threw it aside to chase after big money. But I'm back on track now to save our, what's left of our rivers and our country. Families used to go out camping on the river, fishing, and enjoy themselves. But we haven't got the conveyance, like to take water for long weekends and stuff like that. Go camping on the river. In my lifetime, water from the Paru, flood from the Paru, only reached the Darling twice, where a lot of people made mistakes. They thought Paru was flowing into the Darling, it was water backing up from the Darling into the Paru. But now we have got flow coming from the Paru into the Darling. And the last two years, when the Paru was running into the Darling, I went up and had a look, and it's running almost crystal clear. That's because those lakes have filled up and settled and Piri Lake, for one, is a fair area of water. When Piri Lake fills up, it clears and you can drink it. I've drank water out of Piri Lake and I've drank water from those springs when the lake was dry. It's just, just natural springs and it's good tasting too. Well, what can we do? Go and sit at Parliament House. Go to the tent embassy. I'm not going to be around all, all that much longer. 
We've got to get our people together to work as a nation, not only here, bring our, all of our Aboriginal nations together as one nation to fight for what we've got left. If we don't, we're going to lose a lot of our country.